Introduction. Babylon, Babylon want me now. <laughs> Celestia, they're not rich. Ow. Hi lovely people, welcome back to another video and thank you so much for tuning in. I just want to say thank you so much to my new subscribers and everybody that has been supporting me. Thank you, I love you guys, you guys are 100. So today's video, I am going to do a back to school get ready with me chit chat. Talk about being 16 and pregnant. <laughs> before you get into the video and i get into the video uh make sure that you hit the subscribe button and obviously give me a thumbs up and comment below if you've got anything interesting to say or add or anything like that i am having another smoothie uh for my breakfast um i don't know if you guys might be watching this in the evening morning whatever but this is morning time for me um so today's smoothie is spinach probably 80% spinach um let's say 20% carrot and oh what else is in here spinach carrot is it apples yeah and let's say maybe 40% um apples so i don't even know if that will add it up but basically it's the majority of it, it is spinach um it's not my favorite one but you know i'm trying to incorporate more healthy eating into my lifestyle and i find that this is the best way that i am enjoying it and i'm actually able to manage it so <laughs> lovely oh my god i'm gonna do like a get ready with me and also um like if you are going back to school college just like you know some tips so you can look cute or whatever you know I'm going to style my hair and then I'm going to just do a little, you know, one, two piece of makeup on my face just so um, if you are going back to school, you know, you can feel a little bit confident. Obviously, makeup isn't what makes you confident. What makes you confident is who you are or who you know that you are within. Um, so it's all about shining forth your radiance, your light. Do you know what I'm saying? But makeup is just for fun, you know. It's just a, something just to like lift up your day, lift up your spirit, lift up your mood. And just, you know, give you a little boost or whatever. So there's nothing wrong with putting on a little bit of makeup. So I was kind of like thinking, you know, in this day and age, you can't rule out anything. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, we've got younger, younger teenagers. Um, who are 16 you might be thinking about um, being pregnant you might be pregnant you might um, I feel like we are in a time where everybody wants to be loved do you know what I'm saying like everybody wants to feel that love or they want to love someone it's just built in us to be nurturing and just to have that desire for love especially as women and honestly it can start as young as from what I've seen maybe like 10 or even like younger um, and sometimes I feel like people or women, girls, should I say, girls feel like, oh, maybe if I have a baby, then I will feel complete or I would be more happier. Um, I'm just going to wet my hair, guys, and I'm just going to push anything back. Oh, and um, just quickly about the hair. You guys have seen the video of this hair already, or I have done a video about this hair, so make sure you check that out. But I've, um, I'm gonna make this glueless today. So I've added a band to this hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you um, how I'm gonna make this glueless. So I'm literally gonna just push everything back. My mirror is here, that's why I keep looking here. I'm gonna just push everything back because I want it to be quite clean. Okay, maybe if I have a baby, then I'm going to be more happier. Um, and you know having a baby now it's opened my eyes to so much and you do realize that there is it's not as simple it's not as easy as it seems you know and especially I feel like especially if, like if you are young like a lot of people feel like oh you know like it's easy um, you know like I can do this which you can you know when you have a baby whether you're young whether you're old it's built 
in us do you get what I mean so you will manage <laughs> you will find you will find a way to manage because it's it's, 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 an, it's a natural thing you know even when the times that you feel like you can't cope you will find a way to cope you will you know because sometimes we feel like things that we're not we we can't do like we can't manage we find a way to manage because there is this strength in us like as women like i realize how strong women actually are like it's ridiculous and maybe just maybe we actually don't get enough credit do you know what i'm saying like we don't get enough um credit but women are extremely strong so if you're young and you're thinking yeah yeah i'm gonna have a baby or whatever or if you have a baby and you're struggling you're like oh i don't think i can do this look up look back at all of the days how far you've come your baby might be four weeks your baby might be eight weeks 12 weeks and then look and if you look back at it you realize that rah it's been eight weeks it's been 12 weeks and i am managing my baby's growing my baby's healthy and today's a new day today i feel so much better like i feel you know i actually feel happy because you will realize that you do have this inner strength that only comes out on when you have to survive it do you know what i mean like when you get put on survival mode um so yeah what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna go back and forth into the topic and obviously my hair but i'm gonna just sort out my hair first because i want to tie this down before i get into my makeup so all i'm using at the moment is water and then i'm gonna use a little bit of mousse yeah so we have this like survival thing on the inside of us like as women and we don't realize it until the time arrives when we actually have no choice but to be strong and then you actually realize that you know what i'm actually a strong person like i'm actually a strong a strong girl you know and that is whether you're a girl whether you're a woman like this is no respect of age because you do have kids that are literally their kids but their strength is ridiculous like do you know what i mean like they're so strong like they're so courageous and you're just thinking but you're just a kid but they they have no choice you know if you look at um if you look at places like africa you know you'll see how strong the kids are you know kids looking after kids but they just do it they just do it like this strength just comes from within that god has given us and it's amazing i'm just going to use some mousse just to literally right just on the edge i also feel like there is a hole there's just something missing or you know like they just want to experience certain things in life you know they just want to have that something whatever it is that they just feel like that they are kind of like missing but one thing that i have learned okay like one thing that i have learned about since i've had my daughter is that it's a lot of and i'm just i'm not just saying it because it's like oh my gosh like what did you expect kind of thing okay guys so basically my camera or my memory stick just keeps like it just i don't even know my camera just keeps doing some mad things so i'm gonna obviously need to try and hurry up on the video so all i've done is i've just put mousse all, all around the edges i haven't used any um got to be any glue anything like that this is gonna be like pure um Lulis, yeah i'm just going to talk about the makeup quickly and then i'll go back to the topic in terms of like the makeup for going to school what i would advise obviously if you are going to school and you're going to college it's completely different at college you're a little bit more grown up you know you're wearing your own clothes you're not in uniform you know you're discovering yourself a little bit i'm gonna just do like a, a overall so i'm gonna start like if you are going to school find something on your face that you want to highlight that you want to accentuate that you want to make 
pop you know that's going to be your your main area so for me it will be my brows um because i feel like your brows is everything your brows your brows is life okay your brows is like your best friend okay your brows will literally you know it will draw people to you because it's just one of those things like i feel like my brows yeah everywhere i go that's one of those the, one of those things that people ask me about all the time so definitely definitely it, it is my brows you're going to school like you don't have time to be doing your full face of makeup you don't have time to be doing concealer contour highlight foundation like just found one thing it might be your lips it might be your brows it might be a, an eyeliner you know it might just be just one thing and then you work around that so um, I did my brows off camera because there are many videos that will show you how to do your brows. So you want to keep them natural. Please don't be boxing them up. Don't be doing dark thing like, nah fam, watch an eyebrow tutorial if you're struggling, okay? Make sure your brows are looking slick because best believe, yeah, when you go to school or college or whatever, that's one of the first things girls are going to look at your brows. Trust me. And obviously if you do want to wear like a lace frontal, make sure that that frontal is looking slick. So that's why i'm gonna show you the hair as well please don't be going there with frontal that's looking like <coughs> some kind of doing shakara nah bruv you don't want to bring that kind of thing that kind of stress that kind of drama in your school life <laughs> We don't need that. What you want to do, guys, like, if you want to do your full foundation, that's absolutely fine. Um, I don't have any foundation on. So, I would say, okay, I know this is YouTube and you want to be doing a full shakara makeup, whatever. But is it really necessary? No, it's not necessary. What you can do is put on your foundation if you want to. Or you can get your concealer. Okay. And you can just if you have pimples blemish whatever like i don't have any um blemish or anything like that on my skin so for me once i've done my brows i could i will literally just put um concealer under my eyes and i'm good and like a lipstick and do mascara or an eye eyelashes might be another thing as well which i think is quite nice instead of using foundation all over your face you can just get concealer so get a concealer that's close to your um shade so I'm using the LA Girl in Espresso, which I think it might be a little bit on the dark side. But what you want to do is you want to put some under your eyes. Let me zoom in. I'm going to put some under my eyes. Okay. Because you know, like, you don't want to, like, be going to school yet and you just look like you're just bare extra. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're just that extra person because... Do you know all you're gonna do yet is just you're gonna add extra stress to yourself so i'm literally just gonna put that where i feel like i just got a little bit of pigmentation maybe like around my mouth i just want to like um even up my skin tone if you start wearing makeup yet unless you're going to commit to that 100 percent then go ahead but if you're not going to commit to that yet if you're going to have days where you're literally going to be rushing um you know you, you're gonna be like rushing and then you feel like you have to do your own makeup like you, you you just want something that you know you're gonna be able to commit to you at least if you've got minimal makeup people see you your face looking like in its natural state and then if you wear makeup people see you with makeup like it makes it a lot more nicer than if people see you with makeup all the time and that one day hey <laughs> that one day you don't wear makeup and then somebody's like um D nice. Is there a D nice? Like the teacher's bare like Where are you? And it's you. It's you, but you just don't have makeup. Or you're sitting there and you're like, is there a new girl in class? Like, is there a new girl? It's you. Because you don't have no makeup. You look like just completely different, fam. You don't want that on your head. As a big sister, okay, like I would advise my little sisters, I would just advise you just be minimal unless you know that you're going to commit to it 100%. So once I've got my concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. Now, if you feel like you want a little bit more coverage, all you do, put your concealer, leave it for about um, 30 seconds or something like that. Just so it can dry a little bit, you'll get a lot, a lot more coverage. All you're doing is just even out your skin tone where you feel like you just need it. It's okay. 
go ahead you know use your concealer let your concealer be your best friend and you know you can just carry your concealer and your sponge in your bag and then you can just do a little top up it's fine it's cash it's nothing do you know what i mean what i am going to be doing is doing a little bit of um of contour but very 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 minimal so excuse me so what you want to do is get your contour get yourself a brush okay and then you're literally just going to buff that in do you get it you're gonna buff it in like that because all you're doing is you're just adding shade and look how like this is quick this is gonna be very very quick for you now in terms of like the concealer what you want to do is you always want to use a color that's closer to your skin tone first now if you do want to add like you know if you want to make your under your eyes shine shine a little bit go ahead take something a little bit bright a little bit brighter so i'm going to just use my fit me concealer and this is in color what's the color 45 and dot dot i don't understand how um these girls be going to school with like full face of makeup like it's just not necessary like you don't want to attract unnecessary unnecessary attention and as well like at the end of the day yeah you don't want to be waking up at six o'clock in the morning to be doing your whole face like you do you know what i mean like you when you could be having breakfast and you could be like you know preparing your mind and just chilling and just like taking your time you know like do a little prayer or something like do something productive like you know rather than you know waking up um extra early so so you can do your full beat your whole face and you, you're just gonna look like trash anyway because you're not going to do it nice you're gonna be doing some next shenanigans on your face i don't have an issue by the way if you want to do your full face of makeup that's absolutely fine all i'm saying is that do something that you are going to commit to okay because my face is so um plain i don't mind going in with some really really natural um eyelashes i'm just going to pop that on there like that i'm just going to use um just a, like a liner and a lip gloss um obviously what you can do you can make you just wear like a pop of color on your lips but again like if you want to highlight your lips then wear a pop of color if you just want to like you know keep yourself nice and nudey and natural then you would i would just go ahead with my liner okay go ahead with my liner okay and then i'm just going to go ahead with my lip gloss this is pretty much what i would do for school college keeping it natural i don't have any foundation on i just use concealer i accentuated my eyebrows that's my focus point um obviously i used um eyelashes or you could just use mascara and then i just did like a really nice nudie glossy lip with a lip liner so it gives me like you know still like i'm on edge and i'm still in there let's move on to the hair i'm gonna take a little bit of serum i'm just using like a random oil guys just so i can add a little bit of a sheen to my hair this is just like a hairstyle idea which i quite like you know it's nice and simple it's sleek you know what i'm saying like so i'm going to do like a deep part on this like really really deep part um but i'm gonna just slip this down when you're young like you know obviously you you get to a certain age where you feel like you know you know what you want you know you don't want nobody to tell you anything um you can handle this and whatever whatever and 
you know we get to a point where you kind of can't really tell people what to do or how to live their lives anymore like you know if i wanted to have a baby and the mama was like no don't wait um sorry no wait i'd be like but this is what i want to do though because that's what teenagers do do you know what i'm saying or like that's what people do in general that like, they ain't trying to listen to nobody i'm going to just like sleep this back guys into a ponytail but like a low one let me just take this off first and like, nobody can tell you how to live your life like it's it's your life but what i will say is that whilst you are at school take your time to focus and you know take your time to know and understand what it is that you actually want to do do you know what i mean like because the only thing that you're going to end up doing by you know making certain decisions and not listening to people is just not um not ruining your life because i don't believe in that um saying but you're going to set yourself back do you get what i'm saying as long as you have breath on the inside of you and as long as you've got hope your life is not ruined fam like your life may be delayed but it's not denied um, you know, but you don't want to like set yourself back years and years you know you want to know what you are about you want to know what you want to do you know you want to know that you're not going to be wasting your time you know don't go wasting your time in college chasing boys and you know chasing certain friends that literally does not benefit your life and what I'm going to do guys, so I've got this in a ponytail and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl the ends. Um, I'm just going to put more oil at the end as well. Know who you are, be a leader, you know, um, be an encourager, like be the one to make a difference, you know. Know who you are, like there is no age to say that, okay, this is the age now where you know i should start thinking about what i want out of my life you can start knowing what you want out of your life from a young age you know you don't have to be in your 20s or whatever whatever no you can be a child do you know what i'm saying and have a sense of purpose be a dream chaser be a doer do you know what i'm saying like be a person like of courage like when you go to school or college or whatever be an example going to school it's a new adventure like it's an amazing thing you know when you think about it like some people literally don't have that kind of like privilege and some people wish that they were in a position where they could go to school maybe some people they've had to like grow up so fast that they just don't have time to go to go to school maybe because they have to um they have to look at look after a child or whatever i saw on the on the paper on my snapchat i think it was like a 12 year old dad and i think the mum was like 15 and it was just so sad like when i saw the picture i was just like what the boy is just a baby like he's 12 years old and he's gonna be a dad like do you know what i'm saying like you don't understand the responsibility until you're actually in that position you know it's the it's an amazing calling and it's an amazing thing to be able to be trusted with life you know to be able to have that responsibility but can you imagine yeah when you're at work okay you are responsible like if you're a supervisor or something like that like you are res ah! <gasps> you guys see this i can't come kill myself for you guys you know hey if you are like a supervisor or something like that like you are literally responsible for people okay and can you imagine like the um intensity or like the stress or whatever and imagine now being responsible for somebody's life like it's not a joke and it's not it's not a small thing do you know what i'm saying so make sure that 
you know when you are starting out on this new journey like you know okay the reason your reasons for doing so and obviously like you know you we don't have to pay to like go to school or whatever so you don't have to think about that but this is your life like you are going to be paying you know through how you live your life and the outcome of that you know the outcome of your education basically when you finish your education yeah whatever it is that you going to after that is going to be how you will pay repay that back if that makes sense make sure that you stay focused you know make sure that you working hard and make sure that you are bossing it up like be a leader okay guys so this is the finished look i feel like this is really nice sleek you can even wear this look to work to be honest you're not wearing too much makeup you know sometimes like when you when you go somewhere it's all about first impression and if you are literally full on everything like you're gonna give yourself um that people are going to assume like you're a kind of way and i feel like you have to live up to that expectation and when you're at school you know it might be um okay when you first start but when things do get serious like you just don't want to have that stress to think about do you know what i mean do you know what i'm saying like you want to be free just to like come in however you want um but yeah obviously you know people are going to be expecting your hair to be stayed all the time but that's fine isn't it that's again because you've got a whole lot of wigs lined up and ready to slay them with it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i know my chat was a little bit all over the place because i was trying to balance hair makeup and stuff like that but the moral of the story is guys like just um know who you are um, like know who you are it doesn't matter how young you are you know it doesn't matter what state you are in or your past your background it's all about now the present you know you're starting school you're starting college you're starting a new chapter in your life and you are the set you are the pacemaker do you know what i'm saying like, you're the trailblazer okay so you're the one that's going to shoot the direction that you want to shoot don't go out there get distracted you know by friends that's not going to benefit you don't go there be chasing boys and you know be trying to be looking like some kind of sweet sugar dumpling chill okay thank you so much for watching and make sure that you do subscribe to the channel and join the clan clan and i'll see you guys in my next video oh and make sure that you do follow me on my social media and i hope you guys like this look bye